Hey guys, we're going to show you how to use Marvel Mystery Eel and we're going to use it to test the intake valves on this engine. So, as you can see, we have a GDI engine. We're going to add our marble to the fuel and we're going to add it to this large sprayer. Once we've added it to our large sprayer and our fuel, I'm going to show you guys what the intake valves look like before and we're going to show you just how well this stuff actually protects your direct injection engine or just how well it works in your fuel. So you want to clean that nasty carbon buildup? Well, stick around and find out. Plus, I have a special surprise for you. We'll start off with our Marvel Mystery Oil Safety Data Sheet. Here we have our cast numbers for the products in Marvel Mystery Oil. Petroleum distillates, triphosphate, ortho benzene, para diclo benzene here we have the color everything's highlighted as you can see the viscosity the temperature evaporation evaporation pressure melting point freezing point let's move on I'm definitely ready to see this carbon removed this GDI definitely needs it first thing you want to do take off your air intake box take out your filter all right guys here we are at valve number one this is the before shot so I want to give you a quick look just how bad these guys look. Here we are at valve number two, and you can see the carbon buildup just as bad. So, is your valves bad? Do you have all this gunk? All right, guys, make sure you check out the link below because I'm going to include more information on Marvel Mystery Oil. Also, check out my other videos on CRC intake valve and turbo cleaner, also Seafoam, Face Off in a match you won't forget. Here we are at the fourth observable valve and I'm definitely ready just to see how this stuff has been affecting the vehicle. So we're going to do a sound test first. Go ahead and start your vehicle. Alright, now as you guys can see, the sound meter, trying to see just how this affects it. So this is before using the Marvel Mystery Oil. Also, I have something else really cool to show you guys. So let's go ahead and move on. Let's go ahead and add our Marvel Mystery Oil to our giant sprayer. Then I'll come back and show you guys something really awesome. I can't wait for this. You're really going to be surprised with what I have in store for you guys. Go ahead and add our Marvel Mystery Oil to our giant sprayer. Alright guys, as you can see, we're monitoring this temperature 
back here at the end of the exhaust just to see if it raises up any and as you can see we have our meter right here so let's go ahead and move on with the test you can see what it's like before the marble all right guys let's go ahead and pump our sprayer up i know i'm ready to get on with this see just how well it performs make sure you let me know in the comments below any experience you've had with marble mystery oil and if not let me know what you want to see tested next all right guys make sure you subscribe to the channel and comment below to see your video ideas come to life and we'll test them just to see what we're going to do next that's what we do here at the nie community so make sure you drop that comment let me know what you'd like to see next And it's hard to get a really good spray pattern with this marble. So we're going to just have to do the best that we can. So as you can see, I'm doing this in short bursts. This is essentially what the seafoam and CRC instructions say to do. So I'm doing something similar to those, a similar comparison. As you can see, it's not doing so well on the spray pattern. Every time I try to open the spray pattern up, it's like an oily substance because this chemical is made to also lubricate the cylinders and pistons. So it's gonna cause a little bit of trouble in that area. All right guys, do we have any exhaust smoke or is the temperature risen? Well, right here it is. As you can see, I haven't changed the idle or anything. That is one thing we typically do with the CRC or Seafoam, but we're gonna hold out for now and not do it unless we need to. So, let's go ahead, show you guys the rest of the test. Typically, we wouldn't be so far back out of the throttle plate. I just wanted to show you guys a better image. So, what do you think? Is this stuff actually helping? i definitely love to know. So, we've added it to our fuel. We're spraying it inside the engine on this direct injection to try to get rid of the carbon buildup. Also, make for a smooth idle. Make sure you stick around. I have just one more surprise for you guys to see. And I definitely can't believe this one. Guys, make sure to stay clear of any moving parts. I will not be responsible for anything that you may lose, like an arm or a limb by doing this. Also, if you grab that exhaust like this, you're definitely gonna get burned. So, like I say, do it at your own risk. Make sure you guys are very careful if you perform this procedure. All right guys, did this raise our temperature any? Well, as you can see, it moved up to 113 and we didn't have any issues. So I didn't really see a lot of smoke either. There's definitely a lot of carbon buildup. Well. Let me know what you think. Do you have a better way that we could test this out? So as you guys can see, the decimal meter, I can definitely tell a difference. Let's move on to the intake valve. I can't wait to see this one. Whoa, what was that? So 
did Marvel actually help? Let's move on to the second observable valve. Right, guys, here we are at the second observable valve. Still, quite a bit of carbon buildup, but let's move on. There was a tall task ahead. Here we are at the third observable valve. Let me know what you think for sure. Did this stuff actually help? I know it was against all odds, that's for certain. Here we are at the fourth observable valve. Wow, guys. Well, I can definitely see a difference, but I want to know what you think. Make sure to let me know. And thank you guys for watching Nate's Interactive Auto. Until next time, get ready to get wrenching for the next upcoming video.